Who's yeah. going to have that kind of impact of the guys we just, what, what are you laughing about? Because it's so difficult. To oh, I mean, oh, De difficult. Devin's in my ear. Oh. We're, we're getting ready to roll a nice little first oh, mock-up nice tape. Okay. Brendan Werner's back there. My nice. My boys Bader back there. The crew is back. Ready to entertain again. Okay. So we're calling this Baseball Eve? Yes, we are. All right. Hashtag Christmas Eve, kind of like that. Yeah. So my question is, do you open a present on Christmas Eve? Yes. Absolutely. You do? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. What, that's a judgy you do. Yeah, I don't think that's the move. I, I actually went online, and it's pretty split down the middle. 47% open a gift on Christmas mm. Eve because they, they're big churchgoers mm -hmm. on that Sunday, mm -hmm. okay? So they want to get that out of the way. Okay. And 53% wait till <laughs> Santa shows. Okay. I always waited till Santa show, okay. showed up, but you opened one. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to let some of these managers open one gift. Okay. Each on baseball leave. Let's start, all right? Brandon Hyde, what were you missing last year in the postseason? I know Bradish <laughs> and Grayson Rodriguez are awesome, Aww. but look at cute little Corbin Burns. Yes, please. Win day, opening day starter, monster pitching for a free agent contract. He is going to be awesome. They could have added more, in my opinion, but they didn't. Mike Schilt. We had a chance to go out and talk to him. Who did he add? Hi. Well, we know A.J. Preller's got a sick three-point jump shot, and we know he doesn't value a single prospect in any system. And he went out and flipped Soto and then flipped the back for Dylan Cease, Joe Espada. You had Ryan Presley. He's locked down arguably the toughest games that there are on a schedule. No doubt. All right? No One doubt. World Series. And what did they do? Get him to buy in to being an eighth inning guy, kind of a gun for hire, and bring in Josh Hader, arguably the best closer in the game. Bob Melvin, I, you don't get to oh, open wow. three gifts. That is only one, but we have not seen a player hit 30 plus bombs in a San Francisco Giants uniform since Barry Bonds. Slow played it, Farhan Zaidi. He was able to get Solaire in the middle of that lineup. Matt Chapman's now playing third base. Jung Ho Lee was a big sign for them to play the outfield. And Blake Snell, and they are going to arguably have one of the best rotations <coughs> when it's all said and done. Aaron Boone, he's not going empty handed. Juan Soto, I'm interested to see how this plays out. I'm seeing so many AL MVP picks for him. I think pump the brakes on that a little bit for me. The man in center field, that's Aaron Judge, still kind of stirs the drink there, but certainly Juan Soto is going to have a monster <laughs> season. And Dave Roberts, you grew up with a silver spoon in He's, your mouth. Yeah, 1.3 billion. Him. Yeah, parents spoiled you. You get Otani to go with Freddie Freeman and Mookie at the top of the order. Yamamoto's making a bigger contract than Garrett Cole. Think about that's that. insane, by the way, people. <laughs> but I think the savvy one. Yeah. Is our guy Tyler Glass mm -hmm. now. Five for 135 on the extension there. Sign me up for that, please, because when he's right and you put eyeballs on him nightly compared to the rest of the league, he has got the most devastating stuff in the game. So if they go into the postseason completely healthy with Bueller back and Glass now and Yamamoto and I know I'm missing 18 other guys. I was seeing some of the young guys throw awesome. Dodgers have a chance to be a super team this year. Oh, yeah, w without but, a doubt. Yeah. But, yeah, we've Baseball seen. Baseball doesn't always work like that. It, you're right. You're right. And we've seen, and quote, unquote, gonna... super teams be oh, assembled. Okay. And for whatever reason, they're not able to win at all. So We'll see. Uh,